Hi, I wanted to talk to you today about um, my 1994 Ranger XLT. Um, I'm having a ABS light problem. Um, this year's model has a system called the RABS Rear ABS um, system, and the sensors are, or one sensor, oh, maybe two, are in the differential. There aren't any wheel sensors. So, um, it's, it's a simplified system, but, um, I've been having a light come on for quite a while, and it's really irritating me. Um, so I had to find out how to, uh, collect the codes. Um, on this model, 1994, it's fairly simple. Um, if you look under the dash, this is the driver's side dash. I took, uh, I took the plate, I took the plate down. That has the emergency, uh, um, I mean, not the emergency, the, uh, hood latch, and, uh, just because I'm going to be going into the ABS module uh, up here, um, but how to read the codes is, you look down here, up on the left-hand side of the driver's side, here's the, uh, e-brake, well, right above it is this cluster it's a circular see that circular um, mass of wires there that um, circular connector so just under it you'll find there's a connector here it has an orange a single orange and black wire going into this black connector on the other end of the connector you, which when you find it this one with the pink wire will be connected into this black uh, upper black connector. So what you do is you take your handy dandy screwdriver and uh, release the tab, pull this out. So you take the black one with the side of the connector with the black and the orange wire. See it has a uh, it has a male uh, spade lug coming out of there. So I'm going to connect. I made a little tool, which is pretty simple. It's, uh, I've got, here's the female, a female spade lug, and I crimped it onto a big long wire. So I'm going to connect this spade lug right in here. Oop. Onto the uh, male connection. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to stay. So you can see. I've connected that wire up into that upper connector with the black and the orange wire. And you take it, I made it long so that I could connect it to uh, this ignition area here, ignition switch. So to read the codes, you put your key in the ignition and you put it to run. And uh, yeah, run. I believe. So, what you do is now with this wire, is you're supposed to touch ground with it and then release it, and then the code will start to flash. So I'm just going to touch it to this key. Well, I'm actually not getting any code. Oh, all right. I had to be in run. Sorry. So I touch it to the key, you saw the ABS light flash, oh, there it goes, it's flashing already. So once you make contact with it and pull it off, it starts flashing. And you can see, here's a group of flashes, they're very short, and then at the end of the group, there's one long flash. So what you do is you count all the flashes, including that one long flash. So for mine, it's one, two, oh, I can't, I can't catch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's the code I got. I got twelve. Um, which, off the top of my head, I can't remember right this moment. But, um, yeah, that's how you collect the codes. How I uh, read the code, how I decipher the code numbers. The codes will be, I think, between number 2 and number 16, um, and for me, 
I have a subscription to All Data, and um, they have a listing of the codes. But you can probably find those ABS codes somewhere else on the internet. I, I don't know. Um, so, so that's how you pull the codes, and uh, good luck.